Every so often, I feel the need to look into the performance of my nation by seeing what the current federal stats and global comparisons have to show. I created this post from my blog tonight, but I figured I'd go ahead and read a little bit off of it in case others might be interested on YouTube. Um, beginning with the most obvious, the U.S. is leading by a massive landslide in external debt, which I think we all pretty much already know. And uh, on that list, it can be noted that the U.K., Germany, France, and Japan make up the top five, whereas uh, China currently ranks 22nd, India 28th, Mexico 29th, Israel 38th, Saudi Arabia 41st, Ecuador 79th and Iran 84th. There's some random countries that I pulled out. That information is made available on nationmaster.com which others can check out if they're interested. On that same site it ranks the US as number two since 2000 in our per capita ecological footprint behind the United Arab Emirates. We're also ranked 55th for voter turnout in presidential elections with 67.4% registered voters showing up at the polls. And that was sourced in 2003. And just think, state and local elections voter turnout is even lower. But in 2008, I looked up a, uh, a paper from the Common Sense for Drug Policy site. And they had a bulletin titled, The International Comparisons of Criminal Justice Statistics for 2001. And in that, it reported the United States as having 689 per 100,000 citizens in prison. And that was compared against 129 in England and Wales, 77 in France, 71 in Switzerland, 673 in Russia, that being our, our closest comparison, 101 in Canada, 411 in South Africa, and that was third in line, and 50 in Japan. A quick glance at Wikipedia showed that in 2009, that number in the United States had raised to 743 adults incarcerated per 100,000. But tonight I got kind of curious and I went and looked at more recent data provided by the Bureau of Justice Statistics. And I found in a 2010 report that the number was up to 962 inmates per 100,000 adults in the United States and also 2,074 offenders in the community per 100,000 that's parole and probation type people. This kind of thing just intrigues me. I feel the need to keep up with from time to time what my government is doing, who is incarcerating, why, how many, I see in a Bureau of Justice Statistic Bulletin, a 2009 statistical table, males were imprisoned at a rate 14 times higher than females. That's 954 per 100,000 U.S. residents compared against 68 per 100,000 U.S. residents, respectively. Black non-Hispanic males had an incarceration rate of 4,749 inmates per 100,000 U.S. residents. They were incarcerated at a rate six times higher than white males at 708 inmates per 100,000 and 2.6 times higher than Hispanic males at 1,822 inmates per 100,000. I thought this was kind of interesting because I, I had the data personally saved from 2008 in which it claimed that mid-year 2007 those numbers were 4,618 black males sentenced to prison and looks like 1,747 Hispanic males and 773 white males sentenced to prison per 100,000. So that looks like the rate for black and Hispanic incarceration has gone up, while the rate for white males sentenced has actually gone down a little bit. That is since 2007. In that same uh, Bureau of Justice Statistic Bulletin from 2009, it says one in every 300 black females was incarcerated compared to about one in every 1,099 white females and one in every 704 Hispanic females. Non-U.S. citizens made up 4.1% or 94,498 inmates in the state and federal custody population. That's our data from 2009. 
I went and also looked at uh, information on county and city jail inmates at the Bureau of Justice Statistics, and in their 2011 statistical tables, it has males as accounting for 87% of the jail population on June 30th, 2011. Whites accounted for 45% of the total, blacks represented 38%, and Hispanics represented 15% of inmates. Fewer than 6,000 juveniles were held in local jails, or less than 1% of the confined population. If you read criminal justice data, it's easy to get confused and to think that the Bureau of Justice Statistics is insinuating that the rate of incarcerated individuals has gone down in this country in recent years, but no. The way they word things is a little confusing. It's like, oh, it's gone up or it's gone down at 1%, 2%, 3% since when? Since a couple years ago? That doesn't tell you much. But uh, anyway, just wanted to share that information in case anybody out there was a little bit curious on this. I do have the source data for what I am quoting, and I will hopefully include that in the uh, description box. And that's my productivity for Friday evening. <laughs> Take care.